Hello! And welcome to my shiny and new podcast. Shiny and new podcast episode one. My name is Kevin Green. Or as my Instagram page has it, K Charlie Green. You see my pretensions know no bounds. This, and hopefully others, no, no, definitely others, otherwise that would be sad, is a diary, I suppose. Thoughts of a tall, thin, gurning, dopey idiot. That tall, thin idiot is me. I will hopefully be assisted by various characters. Episode one! Oh, sorry about that. Can't help it. Too excited. Today, assisting me, we have the lovely Doreen and her equally lovely husband, Bernard. Pronounced Bernard. Hmm. Say hello, Doreen. Doreen? Are you all right? Doreen? Doreen? Is that a goat? What? Why have you? Why have you got a goat, Doreen? Well, yes, fine, but don't let it nibble anything. And any truffles, you clean up. All right, Doreen. I'm sure, you're all right. Okay. Where's Bernard? I thought he was going to be here. He's where? Oh, I didn't think they were open yet. Oh, my darling, there's not enough wax on wax strips in the world to give Bernard a back sack and crack. I mean, a hairier man I have never seen. God, you're better off with an industrial strimmer. Even that was struggle. What about a flamethrower? Oh, no, no, don't cry. No, I'm sorry, Doreen. That was very mean of me. Anyway, what's up? You look terribly uncomfortable. Why are you wriggling about? Oh, my good Lord. What's that? Oh, it's very red. Should it be red? Should it be really that red? Are you sure? What? what what's... You sure it should be like that, though? Is it throbbing? Oh, have you seen a doctor for that? It looks appalling. Oh, you've got some cream. Excellent. Well, rub it in then. Put, put, put some on it. Oh, don't, no, don't, don't rub it too hard. Don't, no, don't rub it too hard, Doreen, or it'll... Oh. Oh, my goodness, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Get a flannel or something. Oh, God, that's better out than in. Well, Doreen seems to have gone. I seem to be on my own for episode one. I thought today I would talk to you of my click and collect experience. I originally wrote this for my favourite niece in England for her birthday. Hi, Deli! Episode one podcast! God! Let me set the scene. I'm at my laptop. I am at my laptop doing something. What am I trying to do now? Ah, yes. I'm trying to order some food. What were the... This is the beginning. I mean, I've set the scene, of course. This is the beginning of uh, the social distancing malarkey that's been going on. Um, so I thought the click and collect would be something simple. Get the food delivered or get it so that we don't have to go and wrestle with the masses in the supermarket. So, click and collect. Who would have thought a collection of three words could mask something of such heinous complexity? Something designed by an evil genius, bent on confusing simple folk, like me. I must be extremely simple, because I was confused. It had all started 
so well. Managed to get a slot. A miracle in itself. Lovely. Easy so far. Did the online shop. All okay. Slightly confused by the checkout rules, but soldiered on. Being brave. Stabbing randomly at the keyboard. The order vanishes. Fuck! Order suddenly reappears. Relief all round. But wait. Order not complete. Bits missing. Fuck it again. Lose temper. Seriously, lose temper. Start yelling at computer. Order vanishes again. Order reappears for a second time. You approach it as you would a timid fawn in a dappled wood. Can you see it? Don't frighten it, else it would run. Slowly, quietly check the order. All there, and click! What is sent? Seriously, I need a cup of tea and a lie down after all that. And this had to be done seven days before collecting the order. Seven days later, the day arrives. I am excited. Our slot is from 12 until 2. The major supermarket chain, I won't say who it is, are going to send a text message on the day to confirm arrival of the order at the supermarket. All straightforward, easy. Mm. No text. 11.30. No text. Fuck it, we're going anyway. Drive to the supermarket. Anxiety levels rising. Beginning to yell at other drivers. Arrive at the car park. Where is the click and collect point? Where is it? Not in the car park, that's for sure. Of course not. Silly me. Why is it not signposted? Why are things never signposted? What? What sign? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll stop yelling now. No, no, I know it's not your fault. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a bit tense. So, where do we have to go? Where? You sure? Oh, I can see the sign now. Right, I'm following the sign. Uh, we seem to be by the bins at the back of the supermarket. This can't be right. There's a smell. Wait a minute. There it is! Three parking bays, A, B and C. I pull it to baby. Still no text. Should I get out of the car? What with the social distancing rules? Being brave, decide to. I'm approached by Beth Ann, who is harassed and slightly sweaty. She takes name and vanishes into the loading area at the back of the supermarket. Get back into car, feeling less brave. I'm treated to the sight of male member of staff exposing buttock cleavage. Again, harassed and slightly sweaty. Loading neighbouring car. Still no text. Bethan reappears. Hurrah! Not everything is on the order. Boo! Not to worry. The supermarket have replaced the missing items. Hurrah again! I check the order. Uh, why have the chicken slices been replaced by a slab of fruitcake? What? Oh, I know it's not your fault, Bethan. Yes, yes. I'm sure you've had a rotten day. The, no, the cake, the cake will be lovely. Who doesn't like a cake? What? You don't like fruit cake. Oh, it's got to be a red velvet cupcake with extra everything. I see. At this stage, Bethan departs. 
expecting us to throw the order in the car. I seem to have three slabs of fruitcake. At this stage, I don't care. Still no text. We arrive home. David insists on disinfecting all the shopping. Everything is finely packed away. At this stage, I need more than a cup of tea and a lie down. I need something distinctly stronger. Much later in the evening, a text arrives from the supermarket. My order is ready for collection. Marvellous. Well, there we are. I hope you enjoyed my first podcast, episode one, and that you'll come back again. Doreen is still in the bathroom. Doreen? Doreen? Doreen, we're going now. Doreen? Doreen, what what, what about the goat, Doreen? Doreen? Doreen, well, I, I, I told you not to rub it, Doreen. <laughs>